Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we are going to learn about update in C sharp. So let's start. So in our previous tutorial, if I run this application, now if I click on this record, now we have fetched this data from the database for update. So now we will uh, uh, with this save button, we will uh, update the this record but we have to code so for that i will close this and close this now if i go to this uh, registration form uh, design and if i go to this uh, registration form design this one and now if i double click on the save button now you can see that we have this code inside this now i will transfer this code to a new uh, method so i'll copy this code from here up to the end here control uh, x this and uh, now I'll create a method here public wide insert record and now I'll close this and curly braces now I'll control V it here now as we have this one button and we we want to update as well as insert data with this so for that we will use f else statement so f um, this dot uh, update if update is true is update is update and so we will uh, do this or else we will execute uh, that uh, method insert record method and here I'll create a method update record so the code for uh, insert and update will be same almost and uh, I'll create the method here um, public wide update record update record now we will put curly braces here so now our method is created now we will go to our uh, SSMS and create the stored procedure for update so I'll come here open my database so I'll uh, open this database DB tutorials and this tables so now as I told you that the parameters uh, will be same for both the insert query and the update query so I'll uh, go to uh, programmability stored procedures and I will uh, search for the insert uh, stored procedure so here we have this registered student we will modify this and here I'll uh, go here and remove this alter and we will create use create proc and uh, we have uh, we will use the here update student and here we need the student ID at std ID and uh, it would be of type int and comma now our parameters uh, are completed so now we will um, I'll remove this up to this and uh, I'll go to our table in which we are going to update the record this one I'll go to script as and uh, update query now I'll copy it from here up to here and I'll control C this and now I'll come here and I'll control V it here and then we will go and end the stored procedure now um, 
here we will use via uh, std uh, underscore id uh, equals at std id and now we will remove this uh, these uh, parameters from here and we will uh, use the above parameter is equal to at std name and uh, this one will become at uh, std f name and then this one will become at is killed in C sharp and this one will become at skilled is skilled in Java and this one will become at is uh, skilled in Python and here we will use the uh, gender at gender ID and here we will pass in the date of birth so at dob dob and this will become animation time adm uh, time and this is the last one which will become um, at district ID ID now our uh, store procedure is created now um, I'll uh, remove this you can remove this code and uh, you can leave it as uh, now I've removed this and now if I execute this now you can see store procedure is uh, successfully created so I'll copy this store procedure control C this uh, I will later copy this um, I'll copy this code from here up to here I'll control C this and now I'll uh, control V it in this update record we and uh, this update record is showing error here so let me check this now if I copy maybe I misspelled it control C this yes I misspelled it and then delete it and now I'll put semicolon here now we will now change the stop procedure so I'll uh, go to this and copy this copy and now we will go to our code and now I'll control V it here control V it here so it is a uh, update student now here mm, we have the same code but we have to uh, use cmd dot parameters dot add with value and here we will use uh, at std id and here I will pass in the uh, this dot uh, student std id ok and now the put semicolon here we'll put semicolon here and uh, now if we check this uh, now student name father name at scale uh, c sharp gender id dob time and uh, we execute this connection and data successfully uh, updated dot now let's run this and let's check this now if i run this 
now if i we look at this uh, sara uh, fourth number so we are going to change its uh, her father name as well as uh, her district which is nowshera so i'll double click on this now we are here so our father name is uh, not nawaz but uh, asad and we're going to change her district name from nowshera to uh, mardan and now if i click save data successfully updated okay now we have to close it down and then rerun to load the data we will fix this so now the application is running again you can see sana asad and we have uh, changed her uh, district to mardan so it is mardan right now now i'll close this and we will fix this uh, issue of uh, loading data so i'll go here and to code to main form dot cs and we will check where we are we going we are going to uh, retrieve data or uh, load data into our and uh, data grid view so it is here i think uh, main form dot load so we have to make a, uh, a different method for this so i'll copy the data from here up to the end when the method is uh, finished so i'll control exit and now we will give a method here public wide uh, load data in grid view and now I'll use curly braces and now I'll control V it here. Now we are good to go. So now in this form load I will uh, use this load data in grid view. And now we are uh, we are showing are going to our uh, registration form. So this is when we click uh, double click on uh, data grid view row so here at the end when this form is closed we will uh, call that load data in data grid view method here now this will fix the this issue so now it is running again so now i want to change this um, the select ball so I'll double click on this now we are here now I want to change it so uh, he is not uh, in C sharp and uh, I'll change his date of birth from 25 9 2022 uh, something else so I'll go here and I'll make his 1999 uh, July and 1 and now I'm changing his uh, dgk from dik to dgk and now if i save this data successfully updated and now if i click ok and close this now you can see uh, the ceric wall yes dik and data path is not changed so now if you can we can see it has duplicated the data so now we have to um, fix this issue now you can see that it has duplicated the data here now i'll close this uh, or it is loading two time this data into this uh, data grid view once here and once there so let's fix this issue so now let's uh, run this again and check this if it is uh, loading the data duplicate or uh, it is because we have called this load uh, data into data grid view.
two times now here it is uh, loading the data exactly as it has changed uh, updated the record here 1999 ndgk and uh, in c sharp it has uh, no so now we will uh, fix this issue or close it down so now the issue is uh, if we come here to the code of this uh, load data grid view so we created this uh, std table this one globally so once the data is uh, added into this std data table so it remains in it and when this is second time called then uh, more data is added into this and uh, so it shows uh, duplicate data in our data grid view so we will use here uh, std data table dot uh, clear this method and now I'll use uh, uh, put semicolon here now if I run this and now if we double click on this uh, Saima and now if I change her name father name to Gulhan uncheck this and uh, if I make her data but from 1990 to uh, 2000 and if I click uh, February and 15 and uh, for Mardan and now if I save this okay and now if I close this now you can see that the record updated to Kulhan and uh, her date of birth to, will be 2000 and her district is now Mardan so uh, in this way we can update records in our database uh, i think that's all for today i hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you